Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh. I am the Senior Technical Marketing Engineer supporting data center products here at Juniper. In today's demo of Juno Space Network Director, I will show you how Network Director will help you to provide complete visibility into your physical as well as virtual networks. So what are the top two challenges we are trying to solve here? First of all, because of the different tools used by network and server admins, they do not have a visibility into each other's network. And because of that, when a VM migrates from one data center to other data center, vMotion fails. Secondly, when a particular VM has a connectivity issue, it becomes a nightmare for a network admin to manually track each and every physical switch and find out what really went wrong. With the integration of VMware vCenter APIs inside Network Director, we have completely automated this process. As part of the demo, we will go through four simple steps. In step one, we will discover a virtual network inside Network Director. After that, we will set up an association between your physical switch and ESX host. If we are running VMware 5.0 or beyond, then we can also use LADP protocol and get the same operation done automatically. Then we will configure orchestration on network director. By doing that, any changes happening on virtual network will be automatically reflected on physical switches. For example, any changes in policies like VLANs will be automatically configured on a physical switch. And then finally, we will perform some vMotions and verify the operation. As shown in the demo topology, we are using VMware vCenter APIs to talk to vCenter server. And then as shown here, we have two ESX hosts, ESX01 with IP address ending 189.3 connected to QFX 3500 on port 10. This ESX host also has two virtual machines. Fox and ABC and then we also have second host ending with 89.4 which is connected to port 20 of QFX 3600. When we will migrate one of this VM, let's say Fox VM from 89.3 to 89.4, Network Director will automatically configure VLAN 123 and it will also add port 20 as part of VLAN 123. Also, we will be able to look at end-to-end -end physical to virtual mapping between this virtual host as well as physical switches. So with that, let's go back and look at all this operation from vCenter as well as Network Director point of view. Our admins use vSphere client to look at all their virtual resources. It shows different hosts in your network as well as all the virtual machines and so on. Now the part of the steps would be discovering this virtual network using Network Director. So let's go ahead and do that inside Network Director. Now from here, by default, when you open up network director, you will be in logical view. So to look at the virtual network, we will move to virtual view. As shown here, we don't have any virtual network discovered yet. So let's go ahead and discover the vCenter 5.1, which we just saw with vSphere web client. We just provided the IP address and now let's go ahead and provide the credentials.
then select finish. So network director has just submitted the job to discover this virtual network. It is in progress right now. As shown here, the job is just completed and now we have the Juniper vCenter 5.1 inside network director as shown here. We can look at all the virtual machines same as vSphere web client as well as it shows all the hosts along with standalone as well as distributed virtual switches. 189.3 is the host currently running ABC and Fox and 189.4 currently do not have any VMs. Now the second step of the demo was to set up an association between physical switch and ESX host. So that can be done using Managed Network Adapter Association and as shown here we are using the LLDP protocol. So with that since we are running 5.1 we have this discovery done automatically using LLDP. So we can skip the step 2 and move on to step 3 that is configuring the orchestration. So we can use the configure orchestration option to turn on the orchestration. By turning on orchestration any changes like policies or VLANs happening on virtual network will be automatically reflected on our physical network. So we just turn on the orchestration and as you can see here orchestration is enabled and the network is now in sync. Now let's go ahead and look at virtual to physical mapping. So we are at the V virtual machines and from here I can look at a virtual machine let's say a particular virtual machine is having any uh, issues in your, my network so I can find that virtual machine by its MAC address host name or operating system and so on so I was able to search Fox server by its MAC address and if I use the show connectivity option it shows me end-to-end -end virtual to physical mapping so as shown here Fox server VM is residing on 189.3 it's connected to a virtual distributed switch called vMotion using VLAN 123 and then physically it's connected to port 10 of my QFX 3500. Now let's migrate this Fox server from 89.3 to 89.4 and verify what changes will happen on network director. So for vMotion migration we will go back to vSphere web client and over here I will migrate this Fox server from dot .3 to dot .4. I will use the default options and then I will select 89.4 as the migration point and oftentimes we do this kind of vMotions because let's say Fox server is running out of bandwidth or that ESX host 89.3 was really busy then we will end up migrating that particular VM from one host to another host. So now let's go ahead and move that to dot four and we here we, we can check the status so as shown here it's migrating to dot four and the migration is already done so now my 189.4 should have fox server and now let's verify the same from network director so coming back to 189.4 it shows me the Fox server is now on ESX 02 and 
Now my show connectivity shows that Fox server is part of 89.4 with VLAN 123 and look at this now the port has changed from 10 to 20 and my switch is now QFX 3600 so what has happened while Fox server has moved from ESX server 01 to 02 we have automatically created that VLAN on QFX 3600 as well as added port 20 as part of that VLAN and we can also look at the entire vMotion history from the monitoring tab. So as shown here, I can look at complete vMotion, source host, destination host, as well as what time it started and what was the status. And with that, I have the complete inventory what happened within my network. So as shown in this demo, we have seen that using Juno Space Network Director, now network admins also have the complete visibility inside a virtual network. Any changes done by the server admins on their virtual network are now automatically reflected on physical search side and that greatly helps for vMotion migration as well as VMs moving from one location to another location.